Hello, you're watching She Speaks TV, and welcome to Issues with Jenny Chu. That's... that's me. I'm Jenny Chu. I have issues, you have issues, the internet always has issues. So, you know, grab a chair, a stool, some coffee, ooh, a glass of wine, and let's talk about how we really feel. You might remember the story about a mom who was temporarily banned from the Party City Facebook page because she was very vocal about her disapproval of their wide array of sexy costumes for little girls. We're talking costumes aimed at three to six-year-olds. After browsing through some of these costumes online, I am going to have to agree with the mom on this one enough with the sexiness of the teeny weeny little girl costumes. Sure, lots of little girls want to be princesses, bat girl, super girl, Anna from Frozen, but here's what's offered if your little girl wants to be a cop. I don't know any lady cops that dress like that. They actually dress more like this one. That's offered in the boys department. Now wearing costumes is super fun for kids. It's playing dress up, it's role playing, so let's be a little bit careful about what roles we are encouraging them to play. That being said, I do not have any issues with grown-ups being as sexy as they want. I would like to see a little more equal opportunity on the sexiness though. A little more loincloth action would not hurt anybody. I'm talking to you, husband. Speaking of loincloths, a lot of men are really upset over the Australian men's fitness magazine cover. Why? Because it features mixed martial artists and UFC champion Ronda Rousey. I have zero issues with this. Ronda Rousey is pretty amazing. Now, while I have no issue with this cover, I am pretty bothered by a new film role that she has just signed on to do. It is an MGM remake of the 1989 movie Roadhouse, and Ronda Rousey has signed on to play the Patrick Swayze role. Admittedly, my issue may or may not have anything to do with her and everything to do with anybody remaking a Patrick Swayze movie ever. People will get hurt if Dirty Dancing is ever harmed in any way. It looks like the internet still has issues with this promotional ad from Costello and Costello Real Estate Group in Washington State. The image features a working mom literally tied up in chaos and three kids next to an image of two men dressed in suits. She clearly being the part-time agent, they clearly being the dedicated full-time dudes. Now the ad went out last month, but then it had its own kind of viral life online as one of the most tone-deaf ads we've seen in quite a while. These guys need to get a grip, and they need to try to look at the world without the full-time professional white guy lens, and they should have thought about how it might look to other people. Shaming a woman is never a good thing. Those two men should be ashamed of what they've done, but I don't think they are. I don't really think they care, to be honest with you. Costello and Costello did publicly apologize on their Facebook page. It reads, As sons of a single working mother and agents trying to build a family business, these reactions were difficult and important for us to hear. There are thousands of professional agents working in our area who are also dedicated mothers, including several members of our team. Our original hope with this message was to show the value of having a full-time agent in a competitive market, but we completely failed. Yup, that would be correct. Oh, we don't forget. Like an elephant. And, 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 let's talk about what happened on October 13th and stupid no bra day that was actually trending on social media. October 13th is not no bra day. October 13th is National Metastatic Breast Cancer Awareness Day. It is in fact the one day where we choose to recognize those that have been diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer. Cancer that has actually spread to vital organs of the body. For a lot of women who have reached this stage of the disease, it is about prolonging their life as comfortably as possible. And yes, most of them have already lost one, both, or parts of their breasts. I cannot think of a worse day to try to coerce women to take pictures of themselves braless. I don't know who I take issue more with, the two horny French dudes who started the no bra campaign, or the ladies who actually did it. Sheesh. Okay, I guess it's it for this episode, you guys. Tell us what you think about these issues in the comments below. And if there is something that you want to talk about next time, just tweet it to me at Mommy Nanny Boo Boo and let me know. Hey, it's Jenny Chu with She Speaks TV. Like what you see, subscribe, and if you want to see more, click on some of the videos that you see around the screen, okay? See you soon, bye.